actually a fake video. And yesterday's video, so many people asked me either in the comments and in person or by, uh, by text, though I've never seen anything like this. How does, how does this block system work? So what these are, they're called insulated concrete forms, ICFs for short. They are polystyrene with uh, plastic webbing inside. As you can see, um, it's molded in. It's extremely tough and strong. Uh, these are 11 and a quarter inches thick. Uh, you'll have a six inch concrete cavity and they're 16 inches tall. So you got about two and a half inches of styro polystyrene or styrofoam on either side. These little notches are made to hold rebar. So as we stack this, we're gonna put rebar through the inside. And when we're done stacking it, we'll drop rebar down on the inside. And there's little vertical tabs that hold that in place. We chose Fox Blocks. Fox Blocks absolutely made the most sense to us when we, when we uh, picked the system to do. Because you don't have to unfold them. You don't have to zip tie them together. You don't have to twist and tie them together. They come with these plastic clips right here. And these plastic clips, after you stack the blocks together at the joint, you simply put them in, snap them in place, and you do the same thing vertically. Let's see if this will show up on camera. All right, you stack them vertically, you hang it on the top, it snaps in place, and the whole system holds itself together without having to buy a thousand zip ties and be up on a ladder trying to get a zip tie fit through the eye. So, if you'll notice, we've got alternating mortise and tenons, notches and holes, if you, for, in layman's terms, and these go together just like Legos. Four foot long, there's marks on the box, two, two at two inch increments. Also, everywhere it says Fox box on it, that is where that plastic webbing is. And when you have to shoot screws in for uh, your sheetrock or for if you're going to use plywood, OSB, your exterior siding, it goes in there and it's as strong as shooting into pretty much OSB. So we'll get them all stacked up. We'll get them with rebar. We'll put our verticals in. Then we're going to use a boom truck, a pumper boom truck, and we're going to fill this cavity with 4,000 PSI concrete. We'll use the uh, vibrating stingers to get the air pockets out, uh, smooth it out on top, and uh, when that's dry, we put a membrane over the top, put a uh, top plate of treated lumber on here. I'm gonna use treated, and then we will drill anchors in. Uh, when this is done, it's gonna be rated as a hurricane-proof uh, tornado or hurricane-proof shelter. Uh, as many of you know too, we're going seven feet down inside the uh, inside a bank here. So we'll not only have the earth as our shelter, but we will also have the concrete walls as our shelter. And uh, uh, many of y'all know that Twine's from Joplin and several years ago, Joplin was hit by a mile wide F5 tornado. So having a, a good sturdy shelter means a lot. But that's it, that's the down and dirty Fox blocks take a look at them they've got gosh probably 50 training videos on YouTube you can find out about about the system see if it fits your needs